This dish is ginger chicken. And uh, here I just simply salt and pepper some chicken drumsticks. And now I'm searing them, pan searing them in a very hot pan. Uh, approximately for five minutes per side until golden, as you can see here. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add some of the aromatic uh, roots, uh, such as uh, ginger root right here. And uh, we have lemongrass that's been pulverized and chopped into segments. And here we have a few pods of dry chili. And obviously you can add more or less chili as um, your taste. To the dish, we're going to also add some braising liquid. Here we have soy sauce, some black vinegar, and uh, fish sauce. And you can find fish sauce and the black vinegar in just about any Asian supermarket. And uh, finally to that, I'm going to add probably one tablespoon of uh, micro. At this point, I've added the ginger, lemongrass, and um, chili. Now I'm going to just saute this a little bit so to release the uh, aromatics into the root. And then next, I'm going to go ahead and add the various raisins of the food. So to the dish, I'm going to add um, probably two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm going to add one tablespoon of the black vinegar. And just about a few splashes of the fish sauce. Not too much because it's uh, fairly strong. And then finally to this, I'm going to add a quarter cup of water. I've added the water, and as you can see, the braising liquid is coming to a boil. Now I'm going to just add one heaping tablespoon of sugar. And that'll just uh, help caramelize the dish nicely. And now at this point, I'm going to turn down the heat to a medium to low simmer and let it cook for maybe 15 to 20 minutes until it's cooked through and the meat is starting to fall off the bone. Okay, at this point, it's, it's been about 15 minutes into the cooking process, and we're just going to check on the chicken. So you can see that uh, the chicken has been cooked through, and the meat is starting to peel back from the bone. So it's, it's almost ready, but we can definitely cook this for another uh, 10 minutes to really get the desired effect. And so at this point, I'm just going to flip the chicken over and let it cook the other side. Make sure the uh, braising liquid has adequate contact with both sides. At this point, the chicken's been cooking for about 25 to 30 minutes. And you can see that the sauce is starting to reduce down to a nice glaze. And the chicken uh, meat is starting to uh, sort of peel back from the bones. And eventually, it's going to become um, very, uh, very um, succulent and almost falling off the bones, but not quite. So I'm going to raise the heat a bit to increase the uh, evaporation rate so that we can get down to a nice caramelized sauce that um, we can then spoon over. The meat. Okay, so it's been about 35 minutes. And as you can see, the sauce has caramelized nicely over the chicken. And we're able to um, evenly coat the chicken uh, with the sauce, and the chicken is um, cooked through. So we're ready to plate. Okay, so at this point, I've plated the chicken and um, sprinkled some chopped scallions as garnish. And it's ready to serve.